Hi, and welcome to another episode of Sim Airport by me, Frisbee. I've um, decided to actually run a new game um, play of Sim Airport because the other one was great, um, but being so large, it, the performance of the game lets it down. So this time round, I'm going to stick with a career mode which is going to be a little bit more challenging um, to actually see if I can actually build a profitable um, airport um, and also see how large I can actually make it in budget. So um, I've been setting up the map so it's on extra large and um, I've done some changes so pretty much you know the map is set up as standard um, so it's a very large map now uh, so what I've done was I've extended the terminal built in a second I need a third eventually and I'll get around to that soon right now I just want to try and get um as much done as possible so what i've done is i've moved my security next to my ticketing so you got ticket and security going into your terminal then you've got your exit and that leads out now um this toilet here is going to stay um this one's um, getting demolished and then i will have um and more queue here I do need to as quickly as possible. I want to try and get some flights going. So we've at least got some uh, monies coming in. So as you can see, I've made two and a half thousand. So I started with 250,000 and um, I can't accept the night flights yet because I haven't um, unlocked those. Here's another morning so I can accept two planes at one time because I've only got two gates but one runway all right so I have to be very careful on that now there's another morning one so it's very small but again it's 2600 so what I'm trying to do is just look for so these are mornings again but they are locked out because I need an extra large um, gateway or, uh, yeah, it is a gate. So I won't be able to do that one, but there's another morning. Nope, there's a night, there's a night. So these ones, at least one, uh, okay. So I can't accept the nights. I can only accept afternoons and mornings at this moment in time. So I'm going to accept this one as well. And um, the new patch has sorted out the gates which is really really nice so you can now see so like this one can easily drop down into this one so um, I'm giving oh, actually I don't even think I'll do that I oh, know right now I don't have that much aircraft so um, let's do it every hour then there's a little bit of a, a gap uh, that's a three hour gap yep and then we can go again so hopefully we'll get some more aircraft eventually because my next challenge will be to try and actually upgrade this uh, runway which is going to cost me 25,000 so let's do that as well so at least that is being done and I think I'm going to do it this way around so because the main number is down there so we're going to do it this way for a change there and how much is those um i'm gonna increase my safety on this one and it's just gonna have one on there okay so that's my runway so then i will be able to then yeah, accept those night flights so um let's just re-enable the game so I'm going to set the queues up to be uh, first class and second class, uh, but they're only going to get one gate. So I'm going to go down here. Da, 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 da. I need a door, of course. Door, door, door. 
Oops, I didn't want it there though. So I'm going to have it there. And then let's have a wall rebuilt in there, please. Okay, and then this one here, so assign to cargo or coach only. There you go. And then when this one's built, those two will go there, nice and simply. So I was hoping that I would actually line... Uh, now that gate is wrong. So let's destroy that again. I need to just open it up slightly, just to give it um, some extra room. So the doorway's empty or free um, if they want to actually step through. So I'm trying to make, um, or hopefully the improvement to the queuing system is going to work better because multiple queues do actually work. So I'm going to try and assign at least two. Don't forget that's going to eat into our money. I'm going to need to build a office to actually get our security, not security, I bet you that's because I've got the conveyor belt underneath, I do, ah, and it hasn't been built yet. Okay, so let's let that build. Now I don't want to use too bigger office, so there's going to be a door there. I say door. Uh, wait a minute. What's the door? So I don't need that one. So then there's a space. Then there's a divide. Space. Door. And then we do it that way. <coughs> um, so let's actually start that research going so we can actually. I should have done that at the beginning of the game, but I forgot. These ones, I'm hoping they're still pending for getting deleted. These items, some of it will actually get picked up and moved. So that's awesome. I'm going to stick in a couple of chairs along here. Leaving just enough gap for them to at least sit and use um, um, the vending machines and some trash cans. So, because they are quite expensive, so I have to be really careful. So there's uh, one there. Uh, is it really worth it? Uh, we can only try. So let's stick that there. Let's put some information, I don't know, there for now. Just so there is a little bit of information going on. So then there will be another queuing system here. This is going to get demolished, uh, these walls along here. And then um, that opens up this space. They should come off the planes, come along here and like that. So let's have a look at our tomorrow flight crew. So we got a schedule at 4 o'clock, 5, 10, and then 11. Don't forget, we, we're trying to upgrade our runway. Now, security, I've only got one gate and one security. Um, now, yeah, I didn't want... That's what I was going to do. I completely forgot. All right, so I need to demolish that again. <clears throat> I need, I should have actually done something like this, and that one can go, oops, so all of that can come, come back. I think that actually just cost me money, but I bet you I can't build that because the conveyor system is there. They, I'm, I'm hoping they will actually fix that in a patch where you can build over a conveyor belt when it's actually been placed because it's a bit annoying when... So I have to demolish the conveyor belt. 
adjust to install so let's go back into there uh, where is it going to be? It's going to be uh, that piece there, isn't it? So let's demolish that. Is that pending? Nope, I didn't click it. There we go. All right. So I'm st on 85,000. I'm just getting a little bit worried about my monies. So I need to get these flights start coming in so we can start making the money. So gateway, see, I want it more he here. Yeah, that's... Oh, so then that one could have actually been here. Oh no, it does go there. Well, that should go further along that way. Ew. Okay. So let's plunk him back there and then destroy that. It doesn't cost me any money, so because I've got the items, I'm not. I see this one, this one. Don't forget. Um, I don't like having. I would have preferred the gates to be here, but the until they actually improve the alignment of the objects uh, to actually work as intended. Um, they seem to only work properly when they are in this direction, like this. That seems a really waste of space up there. Because I've used that space there. Um, don't forget this um, will grow over time. It is not set in stone so it's like i can have three gates max along here but i can't afford three gates max right now so right um so so let's stick that there see there can be another one there i'm going to just cancel that one I'm going to just stick a wall bit there and there. And then I'm going to demolish there. Oh, I thought I built some walls here. Oh, how weird. So, door, wall. Yeah, I did. How very weird. Let's go zones. Let's just wipe this zone here slightly. How weird. Objects. Um, what am I trying to think of? Convey about about you. There you go. That's. Did I actually cho choose conveyor belts? Do. Oh, uh, da, uh, uh. Oops, my bad. I don't know how I did that, but oh well, never mind. So we got. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Skip one, skip two, because that's the door. That one. That one goes there, that one goes there, and uh, skip one, and that one goes there. Nice and simple. Right, then objects. We want office desk. Do, 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 do. And office desk. I can't stick an office desk there because there's a conveyor belt, I bet. Yep. So I'm going to cancel that run because... See, the annoyingest thing is... is Will they hold? I hope so. Because I've uh, spent that money, I'm hoping that is being delivered, and I can then just put it in and it won't cost me anything. Whew. See, there was no cost. Uh, just to make sure. No, there was zero cost. So, yay. So then we're going to need two doors. So um, I've got one spare door, 
which is already here. And then if I do this door, it costs me 250 because I'm going to be needing this door eventually. Now, these toilets I'm going to sell because they at least give me some money back, not much, but 125 is 125. So we're going to just sell these. So what we're going to do is run for a good hour on this one and then we will put a cut in and then tomorrow I will have another one up and running so that can stay the agent desk I'm gonna stick so hopefully I have some flights come in by then and we will be making a little bit of money maybe not much but every little helps so this restroom will need a door. Now I'm going to leave this uh, toilet here. Yes, it's small, um, but the truth, at the beginning, I don't really mind. It is fine. As you can see, I'm blocking off this zone. So that, um, they have to come through this door, do the ticket, go through security, and then they can exit this way. So that is my flow that I'm hoping to help with the ticket desks um, so they can come in and actually grab um, the, their own tickets and then they can go into security and move on and uh, so let's see if I can get this wall in the place I can that's awesome this will all be blocked off eventually they can come through the here I mean I don't really need that wall there but it just there we go we'll just remove that so there's a three space gap all the way through this one looks like it needs to be assigned to a gateway because don't forget i got some flights coming in and we do not want to miss those do we so we need a queue for this one, because then that would be the first class. So queues don't cost any money, thank God. So we're going to have it leaving here. Nope, that's far too close. I think it's here. Oh no, it's on this side, I should have it. Okay, close that down. Yeah, there you go. Nice and simple. And then you can enter that way. And then this one is this way. And this one's slightly bigger than the first class. To actually help. So this one is going to be assigned to this queue. And then changing this one to first class. A little seating area. And then I'm going to have another seating area. And hopefully we are still in budget. So, two gap, some seats, some seats, some seats, uh, a few vending machines. Dum, 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 dum. Dum, 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 dum. Where is it? Vending machine. Lovely. A rubbish bin. And a electric one. A display stand and another trash can just in, to help with some of the rubbish. Not much, but some of it. We can. So that wall should have actually been moved over to this wall, but never mind. So let's put another one there. Let's put that there. Let's put an information one there. Let's put a vending machine one there and an ATM, at least in this section. And let's put it there. Nice and simple. Maybe another information. See, this is where you can spend a ton of money. And, uh, and I have customers. So let's quickly make sure that this is assigned to this one. Now, I, uh, I'm expecting the... Um, 
views to actually be silly, um, but it's only for temporary, just until I can actually get the place sorted. So that door will be used there. That gateway is up and running. Uh, I'm nearly getting this done. I need to get the offices in. I haven't done. It looks like I haven't got the desk. So is that because I've got? Nope. It allowed me. Cool. So let's get the chairs in. Uh, we can. I thought I had a plane coming in then. I was getting worried. Um, so I need to go offices, which is the green one. So there's an office, and there's an office. I still got 57,000, so that's doing pretty well. Baggage area, drop off zone. Oh, sorry, pick up, and then there's the drop off. I will need to actually move the garbage and the uh, deliveries a little bit more closer to where I'm working to actually speed things up. But right now, I'm not in any rush to worry too much about that I need some more staff anyway because I've got a, a ticket desk here which has been used and a ticket desk there so let's go there and there oh, and then we've got a spare person to actually walk around and be lost okay what's this under so what's that that says it's a vending machine that is under construction. Oh, okay. Right, so let's just check the conveyor belt system. Because uh, as soon as this is actually being built, actually I should be able to build a wall there. So let's get that. Does she have a laptop? It looks like she's got a laptop. Ha! <laughs> So we've got all these people which should have been over here a long time ago. They they came in really early. Ah, no. The flight is at 4 a.m. Oh, guys, move. I need this done. Uh, it looks like they're starting to queue, thank God. Uh, I need to get security up and I need this all these walls done. Oh, no. I, I, uh, the flight was supposed to be here. Now it's en route. And I don't have a secured area and I don't have a... And then the next flight... <gasps> Oops. Is in an hour's time. I thought I would have plenty of time to get what I got here. Ah oh, well, never mind. It's the first day. I just hope those flights don't get cancelled on me. Because that would just be really annoying. See, this is the thing. Yeah, you have to work fast. And it doesn't really help that you know the builders have to actually run all the way outside to grab an item to come all the way back in. Oh well, two flights are definitely going to be cancelled, there you go, airport operation required, so tomorrow I've still got the flight, so I, I, it's fine, I lost out on some money. I could literally demolish that area, that's really silly of me. Okay, let's speed things up because um, it really doesn't matter on the first day. I'm not going to be able to get everybody in as I wanted. I'm sorry. Okay, so we're still in the green. We've got 52,000. So that's not too bad. For what I've actually built, not too bad. For 250,000 start, um, how to actually set up a functional wall airport.
Now I just need. So, ah, I, I forgot one thing. I will be needing to assign a vehicle, which is the buggy car. Do, do, do. These are getting done, hopefully. Security is getting done. Just need the wall. Then the area will be secure. Awesome, so this one's been done. So let's assign that to this desk and make sure that it is coach and this gate. So they are now fully ready. And some more people are leaving. Okay, so I missed all my flights. Let's check tomorrow to actually make sure that we've still got all those flights. We do, so good. So by 4 o'clock we will have... So the research has been completed. Now, let's see. The CEO costs 5,000. COO the chief operation officer and the chief financial officer will cost me 10,000 plus a hundred pounds an hour. Now it is important to actually get these unfortunately. So let's get them operational. The research, let's have a see. We can have bank loans, which might be useful. So let's get the bank load started. It cost me six grand. Uh... Now, pricing is also needed. Not caring about the traffic quite yet. That costs me 16000 to start that one. So I am not going to do that one until a couple of days. With pricing, I will be able to in uh, increase the um, cost per... F uh, so £10 or $10 coming in. So, no, I want more money than that. I am missing my bag scanner, so I need that replaced, please. Let's have it uh, there. I can only have three, so it would be one, two, and possibly one there, one... Uh, I don't know where I'm going to stick it. Actually, let's just cancel that. Let's put it... So if this one is... Oh, no, let's just put it down there. And then we can put one there, one there. So I will increase this to three, eventually. And then there will be three desks, three there. Three there, three there. When I can extend my airport, or have the monies to actually expand, then I will uh, do so. Uh, th that's when I can actually, you know, I can move... This will slowly move down this way. And so then we will uh, maybe build a calf going here. Will be the first stage. So then we can uh, try and get some extra monies. But right now we're. Um, I want to try and get at least three um, gates. And then we need to think about the large ones. So... As you can tell, they are going through quite nicely. I got an airplane coming in. Uh, looks like I need to build some conveyor belts. Let's have a look. Conveyor belts? I do. So I need to build this going along here because it's going to be... The ticket office will be having to drive all the way along here and that will be really frustrating. There we go. There's a little buggy. Beep, beep. Coming through. Beep, beep. So second flight. So... Uh, as you can see, we've made uh, 5,600, and that flight is already off. Bye-bye, bombardier, or whatever the word is. I can't remember, but hey-ho. Bombardier. Is that bombardier? Yeah, I think that's right. Okay, do we have enough ticket, people? I don't think we do. We got six. One, two, three, four. Oh, five, six. Yeah, so we do have enough, but... They were using... Ah, isn't that awesome? Okay, so that's 79. Stop. Right, so this flight was supposed to leave at... Ooh, it was supposed to leave at an hour ago. All right, so we do need to 
Um, or hopefully this will actually get better over time uh, because the, the conveyor system will actually be up and running and we should be good. So that, what's this? This is a metal detector. So I've actually got a spare metal detector. Has that been constructed? Yes. All right. So let's see if I can stick that metal detector in because if I can then yeah it didn't cost me any money so that would be using this one what's this this is a ID check okay so let's stick an ID check if I've already bought it let's use it and I bet you that is the bag scanner ah, it did cost me bag scanner that is this one again it didn't cost me any money so anything that doesn't cost me any money I'm happy to use so this wall we can sell because we don't need it right now I know I'm going to be building more walls later on but let's have a look at the conveyor system did that get done yet so, yes, what's wrong with this one? Connection to the carousel network. Oh, of course I've missed this little dot here. Again, did that cost me any money? No. Awesome. Right, so we can sell as this one, because that's 1,600. Right, so then the whole place should be now set up quite happily. Uh, we've got a little bit of a dot there. Let's have my square. Thank you. Right. So as you can see, airport is nice and clean. Everything is in place. Everything is working right. And then if we come down here, what over? So I got one conveyor and one large sliding door. Yeah, that's okay. Right, so now it's just a waiting game to actually see whether or not we can actually get people through. I haven't got the extra security, but oh, but one thing I did forget to do was assign that to my security desk. So at least I've got two ticket to that, to that, to that. I can stick another one there and another one there. I got 22,000, so I'm okay at so four o'clock we will get our first flight i do like the new scheduling um interface that's uh, really useful because these are the gates so you can actually plan much better uh don't forget i can't just push them together like this because if i do that then the um i will not have a spare runway so the more runways you have the more flights you can have landing all at once but whether or not that's enough right so let's see it's four o'clock and where people are nice sitting down having a thing having something to eat yeah so using the vending machines giving me some cash you yeah, look at 25 pounds yay dollars i'm in england so i'm gonna say pound more than dollars or squid oh 90 quid nice runway okay nice and 720 so nice uh, right now okay so this is going to start in 38 minutes so let's have a look at the queue uh, let's go actually slow it down a little bit so this is going to start in 11 minutes let's check the scheduling so this should be Oh, why did that take so long? If that flight was supposed to come in at four o'clock in the morning and leave at, oh no, sorry. It's supposed to leave at six o'clock. All right, okay. I read that completely wrong. Okay, so we're boarding. Boarding, boarding, boarding. We've got two queues going in. 
this queue is completed. See, now I'm, I'm wondering if I should have... No, no, just let it be. This one's gone through, this one's gone through. And... 37... 34, 35... 36... And he's going! Oh, on time! Look, I've got an aeroplane on time! He's leaving! Look, six o'clock! Look at that! Get out of my aeroplane! Airport! Go! Good! Hey, look at that! On time! Nice! So awesome! Right, let's um see if we can get some more flights. Oh, wow, look at the, I could only, ha oh my god, they uh, went crazy, okay, so let's have a look at this one, so we got night and afternoon, so let's have a look at the scheduling, so the afternoon I'm hoping is more to this zone, so let's have a look, we've got afternoon, this is a CRI, or is it CI, a CRJ, Let's see, see. Oh, it's a, C it's a bombardier. Okay, so that's 75 passengers. That's easily. We can easily do that one. So it wants to put it there. So I want to give it a little bit of a gap. So we've got 11, 10, 11. Or should I try to actually stick it into... No, because if it's leaving there, so if the flight is leaving there, flight is leaving there, I want to, there we go. So what I've done is I'm giving it just a little bit of runway time to actually leave, because that's what, 180 passengers, 19 passengers, so that's easy actually. Oh, I think I can actually bring it closer. Oh. So that plane would leave. And then 15 minutes later, I will have another aircraft. So we're not going to accept another flight quite yet. Because what I would love to do is see how I've sort of like stepped it. Oh no, because having 75 passengers after 180 passengers, I need to give my guys just a little bit more time to actually get them through the gate oh no wait a minute so they will arrive no no they should no let, let's try it i want to see if we can squeeze them in because if i can literally stack these perfectly then i'm making more money um so let's see let's go to scheduling so tomorrow um is that good? oh no tomorrow so as you can see so we got the 10 o'clock leaves by 12 another one comes in at 11 leaves at 1 and then we have a 12 15 and then uh, goes at uh, 4 15 so then you uh, will then have money coming in and if we can stack it correctly where we're constantly getting like an aircraft leaving aircraft coming in and then our staff cost which is what 290 and i've already got um one two three four four fights uh that's four eight twelve 16 so that's 1600 per day with them just using the runway it costs 290 for is it 12 hours or 24 so let's go into a calc calc 290 times 24 is 6,960 per day. Now that can't be right for my expenses, can it? 
for my staff wages. Oh, it says it up there. So I'm making possibly seven thousand nine hundred and twenty thousand dollars per day. Six thousand nine hundred and sixty is my expenses. Then whatever I make from my vending machines tops that up as well. So what we will do is when pricing does come available, which is now, I'm going to bring that up to, shall we say, £30 a head? Yeah. And we're going to go up to 500 on here. Now, fingers crossed, that doesn't upset too many aircraft. Because I think I can handle it. Oh, what's uh, wrong with this person? Or is this a flight coming in? Do I have uh, a bit of dirt over here? Janitor, what are you doing? Whoa. Wait a minute. What's going on? Oh, it's <laughs> wow! It's uh, so it's the ten o'clock flight. Okay. Oh, there's a lot of uh, vomiting and peeing and stuff. There was a restroom. Is it just not enough restroom? Ew. Might need another janitor. How much are janitors? Janitors are 200 per day. So that would bring me over to 7,000. Oh, look at that. 30,000 a day profit. And I could afford to actually buy another janitor. Just to make sure that my place is actually kept nice and clean but they do have to go a long way so I'm going to actually amend this security, not security, uh, garbage zone so let's go clean and oh that's really annoying actually because I would if I go it's really dumb having to do this because I don't know I don't want to break this until it's been picked up. So I have to wait till midnight when uh, th all of this area is actually being picked up. Um, I'm gonna sell this and I'm gonna sell this. I'm gonna demolish this area because that's easy. I can easily do that. I'm gonna move my delivery zone up here out the way for now so deliveries we want to security office where's deliveries oh there let's bring these uh, close enough let's bring it just to here for now <laughs> i mean this is only what 19 customers i think is it nine customers so easily completed so then what's next en route at 11 o'clock so this one okay so hopefully my guys will move to the new zone when it needs to and then at 12 this garbage zone would actually be empty and I will be able to move it um, closer to the entrance so then my janitors don't have to walk so far with one single bag of rubbish um, are they actually cleaning uh, are you doing well yep excellent because I do have some money, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bin right here. 
No, that's silly. No. Cancel. Uh, what seems to be the major problem? It looks like it's the toilet is the major problem. Having people peeing on my floor is not very nice. So let's see, we got rest, hunger, bladder. Okay. This one starts in 40 minutes. I wish they just would board and just get on with it. We'll need to upgrade this to a medium. So then I can have uh, at least two uh, baggage cars uh, working simultaneously. So like one can be unloading whilst one is um, loading. Uh, so we will be doing that very, very soon. This looks like it's working fine. I don't like, yeah, uh, I don't know why they're making a mess. Oh, actually, I could. Now there's a bin right there. Meh. Right, let's um, actually stick another bin. Look, he just peed on my floor. Peed! We'll be on. Uh, no, I'm gonna order another one. I'd rather have too many, but try to keep it balanced. That's what I'm trying to do. So, how long has we been playing for? We've been playing for 46 minutes. So, we've got some flights. We're um, so what I'm going to do is try and get through to this bit just to see whether or not it is possible to uh, actually okay um, it's 12.15 or 12.12 12, 12. that plane's gone it's uh, left the runway is that going to be enough though to allow the plane for tomorrow tomorrow this one to actually come in and stack another one off nice okay so midnight we will be doing this one shame you can't order these guys to actually move to the zones you know just say move but no, they don't automatically want to move. Okay, so let's see. I mean, I don't have any plants, but mm, right now that doesn't seem to be an issue. So I think on the next episode, what we're going to do is we're going to build a uh, just down this way slightly. But not spend too much money, see, because if you think the foundations for this area would be, I mean, look at that, that's, well, actually, we might have to wait a couple of days. Because right, we need a kitchen and a calf. So if we had at least... The hundred thousand pounds project. I don't know. Hmm. It's going to take a while. Don't forget, we can take out a hundred thousand, which will allow us to build the area at least. But then we would need to put a kitchen. So we we might do that. The uh, but then like over here, I might need another toilet block. So, just to actually, you know, improve on my, uh, or, you know, just build a tiny little £20,000 toilet. <laughs> so, do that. So, just put a toilet block in. Doesn't, um, all that I'm doing is uh, I'm slowly expanding. It's not to, you know, go ballistic and build all of that section so just build a small little toilet block here so they can actually um relieve themselves instead of peeing on my floor but we will see 
so far it looks like the queues are actually doing pretty damn well quite happy with the design uh, they're flowing very well which is really nice to actually see for being such a small area they are definitely getting through them they're stacking so it's 4.15 so they've still got plenty of time is this one of my largest planes uh, this is 58 customers but it's two flights very close to each other uh, this one's starting, this one's loading, and 6 o'clock, I don't know if I was on time, hopefully I was, but they are all through, oh shoot, did they pick up all my rubbish, ah, now will they pick up that rubbish and move it, mm, I don't know, I might break my garbage, and I'll have two garbage bags there for life now. So let's move this over to this zone here. And I'm going to spend a little bit of money. I think I went a bit too far on that one. So let's uh, clean up a line. And I'm going to put one trash can for now in. Where is my trash cans? This is, oh, it's only two grand. The reason being is that will actually hold 10 bags of rubbish. Um, instead of one, two, uh, you know, 10 single bags, they will put, hopefully use this block first before they use the ground ones. So that's what I'm hoping there. Plus I will have a delivery come in and it will automatically get built nice. It's nice uh, playing. Uh, so it's so that this one took longer to board because it's seven thirty. So that one's half an hour late. I wonder why this one took longer to be done than the other one. Now was that because the buggage cart took long too long? I don't know. But to actually get six thousand one hundred just from one flight, happy days. So let's uh, have a look to see if my rubbish will. See, I, I wish I could, you know, just go garbage and just like stick that there. But no, you can't do that. And I don't think I can tell them to actually pick up this trash. So I, I might have messed up my trash. Okay, so ah, okay, so this is the twelve fifteen one. Here you go. Right, so I need this one to be gone on time. So it's got twenty six minutes left. Twenty five. Come on, load. You silly people. Nah, I've got somebody late. Oh, no. He's going. Yay. All right. So. Can he? A bit of a weird way to actually back out, but okay. <laughs> it's like, why didn't you just go left and then right? Or you even go around? Ooh. <gasps> Plane coming in. Now, will it land? Yeah, look at that. Yay! And he's just leaving on time. <sighs> Excellent planning. Look at that. So that means that we can then uh, order some more aircraft and get some more money. <laughs> okay, so we got... Uh, we can't use any of these. These are the large aircraft. This is a night one. Now, I can accept a night one. This is a, a 195, which is going to be 90 passengers. 
on a night flight slot. So let's have a yeah. Let's just see if we can squeeze it in and see where it slotted itself. So that is going to be all the way over here. Nice. Okay. So now we've got six o'clock coming in. Nice. All right. So that's me. That's easily done. Um, and then let's see, we have, let's see, this is a nice single one. Oh, that's a nice small one. We can accept that one. They might be small, um, flights, but the best thing of all is they, um, I can squeeze them in quite close. And so we can now go again because, you know, that's only 90 passengers. That's 19. So those can work together. And then similar to what we're doing, you know, here. So we've got a small aircraft, then a big. So small, then a big. In this case, it's they're quite, both of them are quite small. And then we can have another aircraft on nighttime. Okay, so let's go to our air people. Why can't I? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, uh, this one is afternoon. I think that's this one, the bombardier, or a night one, which is a 180 passengers. Well, we want some money for the day, so let's try and squeeze the 180 passenger in. And now, so this one's leaving. See, these are quite close together, aren't they? So what did I do? Did I leave an hour gap before I had an aircraft? I did. So, tell you the truth, if I move Pacific to there. Oh, wrong one. No, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, Pacific first, then have that one come in hour later, and then have this one come in at tw um, 8.20. Now, is that having... So then that gives me an hour to actually get the people through here, then... Another hour to get these people through. Yep, that's, I'm good with that. Okay, so what we really want is a, I think, a morning flight as best as we can. And then we can, if we can have a small one here. Yeah, I need like a, a bombardier flight, which is uh, for the morning. So let's see if we can actually find one of those. Before we end, so this is an afternoon. This is a night. Uh, I don't want that one yet. This one. Afternoon. So how big are these? Seven three seven. Hundred and forty. And ooh, we can have a two hundred and fifty. One in in the afternoon. Do you know what? I'm going to accept that one and allow that room. Do you know what? That, that would actually do perfect there. Gives it plenty of room here. Yay. So that's gonna. I still wish I could get a another morning one. I think they're mornings. It's it's hard to actually know. That's these ones, but I can't accept these because they're. There's a morning one. Now that's locked out. Ooh. 
are these all locked? Yeah, so these are all locked. So these must be the big boys. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't have those yet. Uh, night and afternoons. So I could have some more. I can have 141 at night one. Just another 250 passengers. Do you know what? I think I will allow it to see if this works wise we will make six, um, 67,000 a day if all goes smoothly so we will let it be for now I don't want to do a mistake even though that this is a small afternoon one which is only 50 passengers see if afternoon is these ones do you know what? Because I'm crazy. I'm going to stick that one in there. And I've got a spare gate. And that one can easily come in. So that's at 2 and then 2.45. Yep. Those two can easily squeeze in. There you go. Oh, look at this. I am filling it up. Just need more here. This one. Oh. Ooh, now we can move flight. Ooh, these flights can go closer. This can move into these slots. Ooh, oh no, because um, at least then I can do some cleanup. And then it's busy, and then there's a little bit of a gap, and then I can clean up. Maybe I might move these at a later stage to actually spread out the income. But does it matter if I can get all these aircraft in and out? <sighs> okay. Oh well, stay tuned, and I shall see you hopefully tomorrow. Well, thank you very much for your time. Don't forget, leave a like, uh, leave some comments, and if you're new to the channel, subscribe. All the best. Bye-bye.